Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So the Q3 earnings are now behind us. We saw the the growth. We saw we saw the beat and raise positive outlook for the fourth quarter. And now moving forward, right? A lot a lot of people are still kind of skeptical about T-Mobile's capital expenditure for 2023 and we will get that guidance during the fourth quarter earnings call that was confirmed during the third quarter third quarter earnings so we're going to get to see what they're going to spend on the network going into 2023 so i still think based on their success in terms of growth and where they're headed i still think they have to inch the capital expenditure higher than what they guided at the analyst day. At the analyst day for 2023, they guided between nine to 10 billion. So I think they have to be in the range of 11 to 12 billion. At least that's what I'm anticipating them to start off the guidance for the year with. But as they see fit and as they see the success on a quarterly basis, I once again see them incrementally increasing the capital expenditure on a per quarter basis like they did in 2022. We now have three quarters in the books where T-Mobile raised the CapEx between 200 to 300 million. Now that's not a lot, but once you add it up, it adds up to almost another billion that they put back into the network. And the reason it's very important to do so is because when you're getting all this newfound growth and success and word of mouth and more people are joining the network, you have to reinvest back into it. You can't just sit there and invest enough to maintain. No, you have to get ahead of the curve for further growth. You're going to keep growing. And that's what T-Mobile is exactly positioned as. (coughs) Excuse me. They are positioned to grow. There is no if, ands, or buts, or doubts about it. They have not raised price on the current plans. They are still advertising the price lock. So they are still positioned to grow. They have the home internet product that the demand is insane for. I'm hearing they're even looking for a fourth vendor to get on board now for a CP unit. That's how much demand there is. Trying to fulfill orders of six of, of close to 600,000 customers per quarter, that's a lot. That's double, almost double of what AT&T does with fiber. That's a lot of customers that are seeking demand for that product. So that's a lot of CPE units that you have to keep in stock, not just to fulfill new orders, but what about the ones that are breaking down, right? You got to swap those out too. So a lot of demand. And a lot of growth that they have to they have to fund the network to keep up with current demand that's already on the network. And then also you got to incorporate the future growth and look at that. Look at those projections, which I know for a fact T-Mobile has already done. T-Mobile already now has an understanding of what they're going to do with uh, 2023. Of course, the fourth quarter can change that guidance and projections because you don't know how how much you're going to grow in the fourth quarter and we'll you know we'll see that sh- not too long from now but still you know they have to reinvest back into the network so i think the success that they currently have and 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 likely will have into the fourth quarter will allow them to get approval to to raise capex guidance for the fiscal year, fiscal year 2023 I think they start off between the range of 11 to 12 billion and I think they incrementally increase it again on the per quarter basis based on the success. Now I know for a fact that's going to that's going to limit their net income um being positive. So any lowering of the capital expenditure I'm told will help their net income. So right now they're funding the network to grow it to where it ultimately is headed towards, right, being the final finished product. So they want to have a substantial, complete rule coverage footprint that is somewhat comparable to Verizon and AT&T. Will they be able to match it toe-to-toe? Not yet. 
there's just too much money going into it for Verizon and AT&T. So when T-Mobile finally gets to a new area that they've never covered this entire time, Verizon and AT&T in the meantime, they're already expanding to other areas that T-Mobile hasn't covered either. So there's always going to be that catching up segment that T-Mobile is going to be in when it comes to coverage. But where they go and when they get there, right, they have zero market share. I mean, that's all upside. So T-Mobile doesn't really care to really match Verizon and AT&T because they're going to win anyway. They've shown us this in the Metro Core. They established leading share in the top 50 and are chasing the leading share in the top 100, you know, even before the merger, they had an inferior product and they were able to scale to that percentage that they're at today. So if they go into these rural markets with an inferior product still, because you don't know how expansive that network really is outside of your area, they're still going to grab share because that, that model and that playbook, it works. They showed it in the Metro Core. Very early on, when John got started with the Uncarrier, T-Mobile didn't have any coverage outside of some, like literally outside of the major metro course. I remember traveling from here to Fort Stockton where T-Mobile had zero coverage. They didn't even have low band crossing in over to the, to the next county outside of El Paso. They had no band 12. It was horrible, but they still won. So the playbook, they're not going to change it. Why, why fix it if it ain't broke? They're not going to change the playbook. So that's what I'm anticipating. I am anticipating them to raise the guidance a bit, 11 to $12 billion range, and then increase as they go along, as they are able to show that success at the rate that they're growing. And the market and the street won't have an issue with it at that point versus them coming out saying, hey, we're going to drop 14 to $15 billion. That <coughs> That might be cause for concern from, from the investors. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section down below. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.